Yeah, I'm not even sure they're actually acquiring the knowledge piece, let alone make meaning or transfer. Yeah. So, okay, so then the second one is uh, Maiden's Science Club Biology class. I think that one's a little bit harder because I tend to, I, I don't know, I think it just depends, that learning target that was there, if it is a long-term learning target, right. if there are activities like today's, I predict that students would be able to take that learning and actually have it stick and have it apply. But that's, if this was if, a if it was a, to that overall. Because on the surface, they got, they, got, they got big picture, but they didn't get the science. Oh, we're making babies. Tell me more. Again, it goes back. What does the phenotype mean? Going back to how are you making? Yeah, okay. What is an allele in the genes? So I, I think it's like a great to, introduction. Yeah. To, That's what I was wondering if this, this was kind of at. at the beginning of an introduction to mm -hmm. maybe because it was pretty concrete. Mm -hmm. I mean, they got to see the big letters, little letters matched. That part was visual. It was how it's random. I mean, they got to kind of participate. It was a good foundation if we could now. We didn't ask that question, but if it was a foundation, like you're saying, I agree with you. Yeah. Now, I don't know. I I felt that there's still there's still they might be making some connections, but they're still going to struggle with making. I mean, fully understanding, you know, in the, the group that I asked, you, I could clearly tell they were like, oh, they're learners, because when I asked them, they looked at each other and didn't understand, and one was going back to their notes, and then one started talking to the other in Spanish, and so they were trying to make something of uh, what they were supposed to do. And I think we're the same group, because I asked them after you left, and the girl goes, um, making babies? Okay. So you know what was missing then was the I do, we do, you do piece yeah. with that think aloud of I do this, this is why, this is how I do it, let's do yeah. some together and let's talk about. So it was that scaffolded piece, so even without the scaffold of day to day to day, but just the scaffold within that one day, if he had just tweaked a few things, it would have been fabulous. And I think, you know, just looking at the lab that they did and looking yeah. at what they're writing down and reading the questions, I think this was an introductory because he put the emphasis on, okay, tell me what your creature's going to look like. He didn't use the word phenotype. He just said, well, is it going to be straight tailed or whatever it is, and he was focused on building it, so I really do think that this was the foundation the next time it's going to be. What's it mean to have a straight tail? And then I hope he goes through the true science of it, the vocab uh, application. Yeah, yeah. And he had some vocabulary on the board. And he did, he, as we were walking out, he was referring a group to that. Yes. I also notice that there aren't a lot of the visual connections for kids either. So it's that. So if you're an ELL student, if you're an ELL student, if you don't read on grade level in that classroom, can you take that now, or can that even be a resource so the for you if it's completely? Right. Yeah. Or well, maybe they are. It's not the time that they are in place. There was a hands-on piece, mm -hmm. but not some of the other. Okay, so the last one was um, Roy Ball, English. Which was an honors world literature class for sophomores. Yes, they were 10th graders. Uh, totally different dynamic. I, I did not, not see any ESL students in there or, you know. The students seem to be interacting appropriately with what the teacher had asked them to do. Their struggles were trying to take some of the words from Julius Caesar and putting the, the, the meaning of today or what they know. Still no connection to an objective, though, I don't think. Right. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Their purpose was, they, and they told me, we have to get this finished so that we can act it out tomorrow. So their purpose for doing this was to act it out. I had one group tell me, because um, the language in Julius Caesar is hard to understand, and that's why they're paraphrasing. But Which I sat in three different the teacher target. And that was the group or at least the set where the teacher had stopped and said where the target was. Right. It was that same group that took yeah. So that. I that felt like they had a better grasp of the objective of what they thought that group than when she stopped them and said, no, no. Now, what did I tell you the objective was? I'm like, oh, no, they were right on. Like, they were doing good. But I so, do really think that out of the three classrooms, that was the group that was the most engaged. I mean, they had some really rich dialogue amongst each other in the 
very small groups. The all kids were, from my perspective, on ta I mean on task and making meaning. Of, so maybe it didn't quite match, but they were making meaning of what they thought. Mm -hmm. I had students um, debating and doing some of that higher level thinking with that, which makes me think that if you're a student in that class, you're going to walk away with that knowledge. Like, I think you'll walk away with some of that. You know what's hard? I can't wait to go to Gilpin where I don't know any of the teachers because I do have preconceived. Hmm. I've been in some of these classrooms before, and it's funny because it's hard for me. Yeah, yeah. This isn't going out to the public, right? Then you no. remember? Not yet. I know. I just. I just. Yeah. I have a hard time with that last class because I just don't. So can you do a little more predicting on that last class? You gave some knowledge, what they'll know. Any on do? Any I do? Kind of predicted it's, it's the students. Are, the students are teaching themselves. I think the teacher is providing the medium, but the students are actually going to be the ones that are going to be teaching themselves. Maybe that's where I'm stuck. And I and I think because usually no that's one of the challenges with the upper level classes. Well, and I didn't. We didn't see if there had been, so I wasn't sure. So that's what's hard I know, for me. I know, so I know where you're going with that. Been in there yeah. before. And it's like no, that's that is that is the instruction. Yeah. And that's what's hard is I know you know when you know you've been in classrooms before. So I think that, I think you actually hit it for what I'm feeling. There is no instruction. It's whatever the kids make their meaning of, that is what they get. And while, yes, they're debating and stuff, I just, I don't know if, the, I don't know. We didn't see it, and maybe it's, there was, but. It's when you have the word honors or AP, it's the perceived notion that those are your best kids, top of the line, which they are, but is learning actually taking place in those classes. I want to just put a pin in something for this next round, which is going to be after this. You raised a very interesting question to me about the notion of making meaning when you said, is it what the kid takes and runs with? That's what the meaning is? Or is it... Well, well, right. What? How do you distinguish between those? And how do you define making meaning? Because those are two very different definitions of making meaning. They were making meaning of... Do you get what I'm asking? What I'm saying? No, if they were Say it again. Meaning of so, it well... The teacher intended them to make meaning of it. Right. So there's the teacher's the view teacher of what they want the kids to make meaning of. Then there's the kid, how they engage with it may make a very different meaning that resonates with them. And are those always aligned or not? Right. Or do they always have to be? And do they have to be? But I think that to me is a question about what you mean by making meaning. Because how you would teach might be very different between those two. Right. To get that group of kids to make meaning for themselves may be a very different strategy oh, than absolutely. those kids. Yeah. And does are they both trying to get to the same thing or not? Right. To my, this larger meaning or not? And it was hard to tell because there was no objective. About another two minutes. I don't know. But it's hard to do these observations when you've done right. mm -hmm. some of these same classrooms before. I, I, I will be excited to do the fresh look. You know, people I've never seen or don't know. Or